Hello everyone, this is Tasman 109 and welcome back to Let's Play Monster House Blind. Because this is the GBA version, not console version. Last video, we explored a bit of the uh, first floor of the house, and it looks like we have to um, go into the basement now. This is going to be terrible. Thankfully, it doesn't look like this is safe from too far, and so... There's three ways to get to the basement, though. That's interesting. And, um, this blueprint does not show where those are. How unfortunate. Anyways, it's time to walk to the basement and hope I find some candy. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. What's the equivalent of heart containers in this game, though? Because that's definitely something I need. Also, how do I get in there? I don't see any way because it's locked from both ends. I don't know, uh, that dash doesn't seem the most useful. Anyways, it's time to head to the basement. Spooky, scary basement <laughs> this early in the game, and there's multiple basement levels in this. This house is much larger than in the console versions. What the heck? Now it makes me wonder what the console version could have been if it was as large as this. It looks like it's going to be a much longer game. Okay, here we are, basement. Uh oh. Oh no, it's too dark. If only we still had our flashlights. I have a bad feeling about this. We should go look for those heads before coming back to the basement. Okay, so I'm not going to the basement yet. Wait, what's in here? A key. <gasps> key. <sighs> okay, I know where to use this. So we're not going to the basement quite yet. I was wrong about that. Should be right there. Yeah. Alright, so. Little Metrovania-esque, maybe? It, it's definitely very Zelda-esque with the whole key business to get to other areas. And I took damage again. Okay, in there. The floor is going to be pretty annoying, it looks like. Alright, where does this take me? Let's see. Another whole section of the house. Fun! Alright, I know the floor's gonna come to life here. I just expect it at this time. Because it's been happening every time I've been in a room like this. A small, tiny corridor. Thanks for the water. Huh? The flashlight must be in here. Yep, there it is. The flashlights! Now we can go into the dark rooms! Okay. All right. Let's not and say we did. Chowder! Uh, what was that? Calm down, Chowder. It's only the light. I am calm. The way out just closed. We have to find another way to the basement. Okay, uh, now I'm not so calm. Ooh, it's dark. That is very dark. Ooh, spooky darkness. This is all I get to see. <laughs> you know, if this was in console, this could be be pretty scary, actually. I mean, just imagine what this would be like if the console version was like this. You'd have a lot more to worry about, actually. Shh. It makes it seem like the console version really should have been more classical Resident Evil in that sense, I guess. I haven't played any of the uh, over-the-shoulder Resident Evils yet, but I know it changes up after Resident Evil Zero. Uh, hey, it's brighter over here. Why is it suddenly brighter? It's because of that lamp. I hope the lamp's not ready to come to life yet. I gotta remember I can strafe. Let's remember that. That's gonna be very useful later, I know. For a fact. Yeah, water's nice, but I actually want a little candy right now. Alright, I guess. We go oh, and these torches, I guess. It I can't open the door. Why can't I open the door? Maybe you gotta throw something at it. 
Let's try that. It works in Link's Awakening. Okay, no. Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, shoot. Go away. I didn't mean to do that. Now I'm just dashing when I don't want to. Come on. Die. It looks like there should be something behind that. Hmm. Really does look like there should be something behind there. But I can't move it, so... I guess not. Will anything happen if I... Douse... Oh, the lights are doused. Okay, we're getting out of here, then. Man, it's dark in here. Is there anything good in here? Let's see. I don't think there is. Okay, no. Uh, but I should pr probably save... And I am taking damage. Give me candy. Give me candy. I don't want to use my chocolate right now. Alright, let's save. Definitely save. Why would I not want to save? There we go. Okay. I guess I'm ready. <sighs> to head into the basement for real this time. Nope, don't touch the bugs. I have to go this way now? Oh. That's wonderful. Now they're making buzzing sounds. How many of these do I gotta destroy? Oh, now I see. You just gotta... There. The ways of the house are mysterious and strange. Keep your eyes open for other hidden doors. Okay, curtains or crack blocks. Oh, gosh. This feels like it's gonna be a lot more intricate than the... I can see why this might have better reception than the console one already. It does quite a lot. Unfortunately, now I have used up a lot of water, but I think we'll find some in the pot of plants. I want candy for heaven's sakes, why is the game not supplying? Well, at least I can get water. There we go. Alright, we're going to the basement. How spooky is the basement? Alright, uh. Water gun. Check. Blueprints? Check. And flashlights? Check. Let's go find the furnace and finish this. We're not finishing this already. You guys go ahead. I'll wait here and guard the exit. Let's go, Chowder. Oh, man. Alright, oh, I guess we're in, uh, sort of chapter two, a way blocked. Alright, here we go. Basement for real this time. Let's find that furnace. Maybe we should examine our other options. Like doing nothing until the house wakes up? I was thinking more like, run it away. Forget it! Let's find that furnace. Okay. But first, is there candy in here? No candy. There's no candy in this game anymore. What about... Can I do anything with that ball? No. It's not Chowder's ball, because that is not a basketball. Oh. Great. Even here, where the floor is not made out of wood, the floor will still try and kill me. Alright. Let's go. The save room's over there. But maybe I should go that way first. 
There. Ooh, water! Yeah, let's go this way first, because it just kind of loops up. Oh, okay! I was not ready for that to already... Oh, I legitimately have to get out of the way of that. Oh, okay. Whoa. Yeah, maybe I don't want to go that way yet. I was not expecting the TV to just suddenly become an enemy already. I don't have any keys, right? No keys, yeah. Gosh, these pits. Well, at least I'm getting my health back. <laughs> Good. I lost a lot fighting that TV. Alright. I'll be alright. But is there a way I can, like, switch characters at all? Like, how do I play as Chowder and Jenny? I didn't get an instruction manual with this, and, well, I didn't look up the controls. Alright, this is fine. I found a bathroom. Base of operations for the time being. A lot of stuff here. Hmm. Is there a way to destroy this sink at all? I don't know. What items have I got? I don't think I have anything that could uh, destroy a sink. I guess we'll just have to come back here later. For now, let's continue exploring. Staying straight from old now. Um, can't go that way. Alright. Seriously, why does this house have so many darn basements? Hmm? An open vent! And I can see light on the other side. Jenny, you're the only one small enough to fit in there. Chowder and I will get stuck. Uh, hey, I'm just husky. All right, press R near crawling spaces with Jenny to crawl. Oh, great, she has less health. All right. Key? Yeah, key. All right. Imagine if they were just suddenly gone. Wait, how do I switch characters? The game has not made that very clear yet. Not very clear at all, actually. Yeah, okay, her gun is definitely different. Anyways, I think I had to open this door because the other one had a different lock. Okay. There we go. Maybe I should stay in this position. Oh. Everything's suddenly coming. I can't hurt you. I cannot hurt the lamp with Jenny, apparently. Blocked again. There must be a way around. Not around. Over. DJ. You've always been good at climbing. You go up there and then... I could find a way to open the door. I'm on it. Press R near climb spaces with DJ to climb. Yeah, but like, how do I switch characters? There we go. Well, I'm on my own. Goodbye. Oh, great. Wow. Ow! Alright, there. Oh, I didn't think I'd have to get water from these pots. Hey, look at that, I'm getting water. And candy! Good. Give me everything good. <laughs> there we go. I don't like this. Okay, there's definitely something up there. Shoot, it's too heavy. No way I can watch this. Maybe Chowder could do it. Alright, well, let's get out of here before everything kills me. Oh, great. Go away. There. 
Alright, go away, go away. There we go. Let's go up first. There's no way I can budge this. One side, DJ. I've always been stronger than you. I can push anything that looks too heavy for the rest of you. Watch this, Jenny. <sighs> Sweet. And he has the most health of anybody. Oh, shoot. I don't know how I feel about Chowders. It takes more time to build up, but it's probably powerful. Okay, seriously. How do I destroy the lamps? They don't take any clear signs of damage. The L button doesn't seem to do anything. How do you hurt a lamp? I have to find out now because there's no way out of here. Uh, maybe I can get some assistance from Skull. With your electric torch, light your way find slay the heart. I was hoping you'd tell me something on how to defeat these lamps. Uh, flashlight? No. What do I do with these lamps? Oh, you can only hurt them when they open up. Okay. But I prefer it if you two did not stack up on me. That's a pretty good animation on them. There we go. That was hard. It's just now, how do I switch characters? The L button doesn't seem to do it. R most certainly doesn't do it. A button is for item. B button is for shooting. Select is for map. Start is for just pausing. Um, like, how do you switch characters in this game? There's no other buttons to try. Oh well. Let's just uh, press this switch. There. I pressed the switch. So I have a key now. Um, where do I use it? Uh, here? Yeah, but um, I don't know if I want to progress forward right now. I might just want to save my progress. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and save my progress. Maybe I'm just not allowed to swap characters yet. They want me to get used to the other characters first. I need health. Badly. Thank you. All right, let's go in here. There. And um, I think I'm going to stop it there for now since these are the only areas I can save my game. Next time, we're going to go to that little area right above us, basically. And Actually, before I'm done, can I destroy this with Chow's gun? No. Okay. So next video, we're going to go around back to that locked door and see what we can find down here. Until then, though, this has been TalesFan109, and have a nice day.